The Asian Financial Forum 2015 welcomes John Chung. He is the Financial Secretary of the Hong Kong SAR. And John, thanks very much indeed for joining us today. Thank I'd you. like to start by asking you really about this sort of overhanging crisis with the Swiss franc as against the euro. And of course, the Swiss franc is now no longer linked to that. What are the implications really for the linked currency idea, which of course Hong Kong is very much linked to the US dollar, are there very many implications, would you say? The nature is a little different. Uh, the, the, the Swiss franc is, uh, they have an uh, upper limit, whereas in Hong Kong we have a currency board system, uh, and, and that, that, that is quite different. But the, the crisis uh, indicates that uh, you know, it's, it's a good time for us to reinforce uh, the fact that our currency board system is working well, and we have no intention, or is there a need for us to make any changes at this point. So John, looking more broadly at the Hong Kong economy in 2015, what's your outlook? 2015 will be indeed a challenging year, but our, our safeguard in, in Asia you know, is that uh, we, we remain strong. Uh, the Asian economies are strong. Uh, China, or, or, you know, even though it, it's growing less robustly at about 7%, but this 7% is, uh, I think, any of the more advanced economies would die for. That is really the major driving force now. And is diversification going to be the key? Diversification in terms of the structural aspects of the economy in Hong Kong and, of course, its economic diversity as well. Exactly. And we are constantly changing. We are constantly diversifying, uh, you know, even with the, what we call the, the traditional uh, sectors that, that we have in financial services, in logistics, in trade, in professional services, tourism. And looking really back at 2014, has the Hong Kong economy been affected in any way by the civil disturbances that happened towards the end of the year? We need to do more promotions uh, overseas so that what we experience in these 79 days will not impact on Hong Kong in a longer term. Uh, so our image is, is important. Does it though concern you that even looking into the future, maybe mid to longer term, that there is this sort of overhang of what you'd call the political economy as opposed to economic matters that Hong Kong is very used to dealing with? Obviously there will be a concern uh, because uh, what we want Hong Kong to do is to, to become more, more and more democratic, take a step forward. Five million people voting must be better than 1,200. Let's achieve that as a sort of a medium-term objective. Now, the Hong Kong Stock Exchange and the Shanghai Stock Exchange, what you'd call the Shanghai Hong Kong Stock Connect, is now in place. How do you see that going forward? Do you see that going to be an important factor for Hong Kong's development, actually, as a financial center? That's a very big positive thing that we have. Uh, what that does for Hong Kong is really making Hong Kong more of a platform for for, for, for greater re re regional as well as in, in international finance. And that's also very, very good for, for the mainland uh, in terms of uh, opening of the, of the capital account, uh, more of the internationalization of the renminbi. That is really good. And I think going forward, we need to expand that, that experience that, that we have, uh, perhaps with Shenzhen, or perhaps in terms of greater depth uh, with some of the uh, other products, uh, commodities, futures, options, uh, derivatives, and so forth. So the theme for the Asian Financial Forum 2015 this year is about regional sustainability in a world of change. What does that really mean for you? Hong Kong is not a stranger to creating itself from time to time. And we have constantly been doing that. And we have been successful in doing that. And that's what makes Hong Kong what we are today. And we will take this opportunity again to create ourselves, to recreate ourselves into something that would be beneficial to our population in the future years.